Okay, so here's the power trailer I've been working on as promised and uh, it making progress. It'll be ready for the uh, the 4th of July weekend test uh, bug out thing is what I, my goal is to have it ready for all of that. I uh, still want to do some touch up paint. I still have to do the tailgate. I've got the second box which is primarily going to be batteries uh, is going to mount on here. There's room for a third one. So, you know, if I get more money and, uh, and more time and can add a, a third box, that's, that's not impossible, okay? Um, it, it can work. It, it can, I could add a third box with batteries and, and the whole system will go. Um, but as it is, this, this is the main control unit with the charge controllers and inverters and, and one battery because that helps regulate the charge on everything else and then there's that cable system which you'll see detailed in another video for connecting to other boxes all of which are mobile all of which have the the fold out handles and the movable stuff um, using these big power Anderson power pole connectors to uh, connect kind of a homemade cable for these things instead of the skinny wires here that way we get the most power out of it um, this whole thing folds down so that when it travels it travels flat and it's all a lot of steel okay everything above that deck is pretty much steel or well the panels okay and uh, I still want to figure out some sort of a load bearing hinge mechanism up here but the way this is engineered is that this stuff can all come off the trailer and then you've got a nice little 4x8 cargo trailer to use. So that's that's how it works. It's going to be the mobile solar generator in addition to being a cargo trailer. But it's kind of one or the other when it's in use because the batteries and the control unit and all that takes up room in there.